Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video today. In today's video, we will be showing you how to install the Net Data Agent on your VM to help you monitor your VM a little bit better and just you know give you a little bit more insight on what resources your VM is using, um, so that you can kind of tune and make sure, hey, what's actually being wrote, uh, you know blocked in regards to resources constraints and or like using too much CPU or using too much memory or whatnot. So this video is also sponsored by me, myself and I. So if you enjoy my content, want to sponsor me or send me some free swagger hardware, my email is in the description below. So all right, let's get started guys. Okay, so what we'll do is actually look up net, uh, net data um, install here. Um, so you actually don't need to like sign up for the app net data cloud, unless you want to connect multiple nodes to it. Um, and this makes more sense when you have like, you know, a lot of VMs that you want to connect and monitor. But in this case, I'm just going to show you how you can install the agent and actually view the stats locally on that agent, uh, on that VM. So, um, we'll go with this doing the install. We'll get, use the W get. Um, we won't contribute anonymous status. I think the rest looks good. So what we'll do is actually command prompt. We'll log in to our AWX um, server here real quick. I think this one will give the best stats because I've been using it the most. Um, and then we'll install wget um, because we need that installed to be able to run this command, obviously. <clears throat> boop, boop. And then we'll click the copy here and set the wget telemetry saying there. So what we have here is now essentially the install. So we'll have to type yes to a few things, which is essentially, do you trust this repo? Do you touch, trust this key? Um, yes, yes. We'll trust all the things here. Um, and a lot of install. So essentially this will just go through the installation and you really don't have to really do anything. It should hopefully pick up your operating system, figure out what it's running, figure out, um, do just do the install on its own. So it'll just continue to go through. Um, but if you also wanted to, you know, do multiple apps, you can also sign up for the Net Data Cloud. There is an actual, um, essentially community free edition. Um, here we go, Net Data Pricing. So I can show you this while it installs, um, where, uh, essentially this, this community free where you can essentially put things in and add, you can just add your nodes. Um, so everything's stored on-prem, you just access it from there to make it easier when you have like, you know, 10 VMs, it's easier to look at, you know, one dashboard that has all 10 VMs as opposed to going to each VM individually. So that is something to consider in case you decide you want to install this on all your agents. I haven't used the dashboard before, so I don't know if it's like great or not user-friendly or maybe it's really user-friendly and, and looks nice. Um, so if you do decide to use it, let me know. I might end up just deciding to use it to make a video of it. So, okay, so um, more stuff. So we need to hit yes to install this stuff. So it'll install the net data things, import the keys and install more things, 17 packages to be installed here. And it has finished installing. So um, it even gives you like the full thing about, hey, if you wanna look, monitor all your infrastructure with net data, you can use net data cloud, do the free sign up for the community edition. But what we'll do here is systemctl uh, start net data and systemctl enable net data. Um, so essentially the service is running. Um, now the next thing we'll need to do, um, oh, yeah, why install net tools? Best thing ever in net tools, um, helps you just, there's some really good network commands, honestly. Um, so what we'll do, and I, I don't remember what the port is off the top of my head. Um, net data, net data. Okay. Yeah. So by default, the port will be, uh, 19,999, um, to go. So you would go to the server. So HTTP the server, so awx.dragon.local19123. So essentially, now it pops up with the net data GUI in regards to what my system is using. So for, in, in this case, when it says average CPU per node, this is the only node on here um, because the agent's actually stored on this node. So you can, you can see kind of, hey, I'm using about 76, 
0.68% of RAM here. Um, we got about 15 percentage of CPU uh, node usage. Um, and you can just see that there's, there's just stats and obviously the stats will gather as the um, system is up and this is installed together because this gathers in real time. Um, so you can, but you can see like data coming in, data coming out, average load times and like utilization. There's a lot of things. Um, the nice thing here is like you can kind of correlate like, oh, maybe I saw like, you know, this IO went up really high. Did that correlate to, you know, CPU going really high at a certain time or whatnot? So there's actually a lot of things that you can get from here. Um, Kubernetes might be interesting. Oh, they even have the Kubernetes. Oh, dang it, refresh. <laughs> I might have broke that. Oh, maybe this, the Kubernetes thing is kind of broken on, on mine. So we'll just ignore that. <laughs> um, oh God. All right, so, so the Kubernetes tab doesn't, doesn't work. I wonder if it's because I'm running a K3S cluster instead of K8. S cluster, so um, so it, uh, it might not be perfect, but you might you you essentially get what you need, and you can see over here sections and charts, other things that you um, can check for. So like disk utilization, you got network stacks, so like IPv4 networking, how many total packets. Um, I'm sure there is like uh, data in, data out, and um, other applications you can. So so this is like your top. If you ran the top command on on a on a on a Linux box, you can see like you know processes and whatnot. So like this is application, you see some processes, you can see what's using what. Um, so there is a lot of good things here. Okay, so it looks like the Kubernetes things doesn't work with my K3s very well. So we're just gonna ignore that. But there is a lot of stats here. So this is a, just a good way to kind of just see overview of what your system resources are without needing to know you know your Linux stuff and everything is in a graphical user interface so would highly recommend trying this out if you're looking for something to monitor or just figure out hey what what's where are my bottlenecks so if you enjoyed the video please leave a like comment subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video bye